Hey guys, it's Wayne again. All right, so I'm back at this uh, little makeshift studio setup <laughs> with my my with my fake outside backdrop. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a brick wall one. Um, I just got so much crap in the back of my garage here that I don't. I, I prefer that not to be the focus. So I'll I'll figure something out. You know, maybe you guys have a great idea for that. All right. Anyway, so um, all right. So if you have a um, Abyssal Revolution Pet Pro, and you're having a problem, like the moment you, like I've made a leak video before, but this is a slightly different one, slightly different. It's, so now the moment you put your uh, bin with the water on here, it start leaking through, uh, not not the, 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 the area that the water leads to the floor. It's leaking through that area that when you hook up your hose, that the water would connect right there. Okay, so it's it's kind of it's kind of specific to that area. Okay, so so uh, le yeah, let me walk you through this, and it's something that you can do if you're uh, adventurous enough to give it a try, right? And um, let me let me try to uh, explain it. So anyway, uh, if you're interested, stay tuned, and we'll get right into it. Okay, guys, so let's, <laughs> it's about to fall down. Let's hope that the, this particular setup is gonna be able to help guide you guys through this. Um, I'm giving it a shot, all right? So here we go, all right. So, all right, let's focus on this. Let's focus on the Abyssal Revolution Pet Pro. The Abyssal Revolution Pet, the regular one, you won't have this ability to just push down the button here and remove your uh, setup here. Uh, the reason why I had a tough time because um, my stuff is not quite down all the way because I removed the screws. Um, I wanted to rough it up, but um, you know, to kind of hurry it up. And uh, so that's what's happening. But normally it would just come off real easy, right? And I, I want to kind of breeze through this a little bit faster for you guys. All right, so let me recline this. Uh, the first thing you would do is um let me let's let's remove all these uh tanks from here okay we're trying to figure out how to solve that problem right so i took the area out i'm, I'm gonna show you exactly what what it is what the problem was this piece here that normally sits right here okay normally sits right here you have two parts this is where the the, the water flows for the hose and this is where the water flows for the for the floor. And the way you can figure that out is take a look. You see this little section here? The water comes up and it goes out and it goes in and it trickles into the floor. Okay? And when you attach your hose at this section here, right? This is where the water connects to that goes to the hose. So the water is leaking from here, and the only reason why that's happening is because there's a film that is uh, above this. Let me show you the pump. Unfortunately, guys, they don't just sell this part. They actually sell the entire pump. So the whole pump would have to be replaced, but there are times when, man, I've just replaced this piece here, just this piece alone, okay? Uh, it has clamps, and you can get a, um, a needle nose pliers, squeeze, pull, pop this piece out, pop it on, make the job easy, or you can go through and replace the whole thing if you believe that the pump itself is part of the problem, all right? So keep that in mind. And uh, and then it's always, when, when I'm doing a warranty uh, work or something like that, I actually replace the whole thing. Um, I can't just replace a little piece. If this is the part that comes, then I have to replace the whole part. But I'm talking when you're doing a makeshift repair for yourself, right guys? All right, so here you go. Um, flat head. Reach to the back and you're gonna pop open the side and then you get you can get underneath and start prying open this. These things clip in, these little clips here, and they kind of lock themselves in with the clips, all right? So let's put this to the side. Same thing over here. All this is clipped together. I normally start to the back. And again, I told you, like I, I already pre-took the screws out because I kind of want to get straight to the point. All right, and this pops right out. All this clip, 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 and just kind of move your way down, like boop, clip, 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 and it'll all just um, clip out. All right, so here we go. Next thing is you remove all the screws. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine so far that I found. And if there's another one, then you know, you remove that one too. Let's see. Let's see if I got them all. What do you say? Let's just double check, right? Something is, someone is a little bit, taking a little bit longer to come out. Oh, I think I found him. He was hanging out at the house. Here we go. And is there another one hanging out? Let's see this guy right here. Uh, there he is. And let's check. Let's check. Let's check one more. Make sure they all got out. Oh, there's one more. Man, you know, when you thought you did the whole thing, there's always a little piece hanging on. All right, so now all the screws are out. Beautiful. All right. <clears throat> this is your uh this is your pump belt okay now this belt believe it or not is um he is responsible for a lot of stuff if, if this is the first place i would look when i don't have uh any spray action going i'll check the belt first okay check the belt first and if you notice the shaft the shaft is connected to the brush so sometimes when your brush is not moving it's, it's because of this guy all right, anyway, so um, take a look. So what I did, I just removed this piece here. This was, this, was, uh, this was clamped in here like this, and the screw was right there. And I just removed it because I saw that the air was coming out of, the water was pouring out of here. And also that, oh, my water, <laughs> my screw just fell in the hole. Hey, magnet's good. And also that um, that's the only part that was messed up. Everything else was working fine. Okay. So I'm going to pull this guy down. Okay. I'm going to pull this guy off. And if, if you have a tough time, you just use a flathead screwdriver. And you can just do that. Just a little pry him off a little bit. Let me see if he let me see if he loosened up some. Yep, he did. He loosened up some. Still had to pull a little bit though. All right, so now I'm gonna stick him back in here, and then I am going to. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, let's clamp this back. You see, clamp his back, and let's put the screw in. Okay, and then we have ourselves a fix, just like that. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. This is fixed back. In, if I did my job right, the moment I put everything back together, it'll sit perfectly right in the spot. So let's let's start there. And um, I actually recommend um, taking all the screws out of their place because sometimes if you leave them in, see like this is it. Most of my screws are in here. If you if you if you're good at it, you could do it right and just put it down, and they'll all just go into their holes. But sometimes they don't, so you find yourself spending more of your time chasing the screw down than you do putting the screw, you know, back into its rightful place. Okay, so if you could do it, do it. If not, just remove the screws and put them back in from scratch. Okay, guys. All right. Okay. Um, it's like, you know, you watch a mechanic, <clears throat> they do something really easy, then you try to repeat it. <laughs> it's like, wait, yeah, you know, stick to the, my uh, old man used to say, uh, back to the basics, Wayne, stick to the basics. <laughs> back to the basics. All right, here we go. So now, <clears throat> you could tell that one brought back some, uh, <laughs> some memory, right, some feelings. All positive, all positive. All right, let me. Uh, I just want to make sure I got all this side secured. All right, so this side secured. All right, so so let me let me put the first clamp back. Let me show you. <clears throat> you know, you can just snap this back in. Everything is pop, 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 snap, snap, snap. Right, but I wanted to show you what I meant with this. So let me do this first. Let's let's put this on, and I'm gonna. I might have to put the screws in there. Let me, you know, this is the one that gave me a tough time. So let me put a screw in here so I can, if I have to take that off, it can come off easy. All right, here we go. So, 
everything into place. Like I said, if I put it on correctly, it should line up perfectly with this, okay? And also, when you put this back on, make sure you, you, you put everything in here first, okay, like this. And then snap it in, and voila, we're there. Everything is perfect. Yep, lined up perfectly. So, to avoid this problem, guys, okay, what I think happened is person that was cleaning this out, maybe some debris, pushed too hard down, did not realize this was a very delicate film right here. Very delicate stopper, okay? So be careful when you are trying to get lint out of here. Or if someone tells you to prime the pump or something like that and they tell you to push down in there, because you can destroy this thing and that's what happened with this. Like nothing, that, that film that's right here, it's, it's just, it's busted, all right? And then the water's just oozing out, okay? So um, that's that, guys. And uh, and the other side snaps on just as easy. I just gotta put all the screws in. But every, you know, look at that. This, this snap, push down, snap on. So if you like another video about this topic, guys, just uh, let me know. Just leave it in the comments, and I'll be more than happy to uh, give it a try. And, uh, you know, I can, I'm not going to be able to do all the videos that are recommended. But, man, I tell you this, you have a better shot at getting the answer you need if you just request it. Okay, guys? All right? So um, that's it. If I can help you with anything else, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to visit my T-shirt uh, website, you know, my Teespring website where I have, uh, it's at gmartshirts.com. GM stands for Gold Mine. That's my art studio name, Gold Mine Art Studio. So GM Art Studio, gmartstudio.com also. You can see some of my drawings there. All right, until later, bye. is responsible for a lot of stuff if, if this is the first place i would look when i don't have uh any spray action going i'll check the belt first okay check the belt first and if you notice the shaft the shaft is connected to the brush so sometimes when your brush is not moving it's, it's because of this guy all right anyway so um take a look so what i did i just removed this piece here this is this was uh, this was clamped in here like this, and the screw was right there. And I just removed it because I saw that the air was coming out of the water was pouring out of here, and also that oh my water <laughs> my screw just fell in the hole. Hey, magnet's good, and also that um, that's the only part that was messed up. Everything else was working fine. Okay, so I'm going to pull this guy down okay I'm gonna pull this guy off and if, if you have a tough time you just use a flathead screwdriver and you can just do that just little pry him off a little bit let me see if you let me see if he loosened up some yep he did he loosened up some still had to pull a little bit though all right so now I'm gonna stick him back in here and then I am going to Oh, you know what? Before I do that, let's clamp this back. You see? Clamp this back. And let's put the screw in. Okay. And then we have ourselves a fix, just like that. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. This is fixed back. In the if I did my job right, the moment I put everything back together, it'll sit perfectly right in the spot. So let's let's start there. And um, I actually recommend um, taking all the screws out of their place because sometimes if you leave them in, it's like this is it, most of my screws are in here. If, you, if, you, if you're good at it, you could do it right and just put it down and they'll all just go into their holes, but sometimes they don't. So you find yourself spending more of your time chasing the screw down than you do putting the screw you know, back into this rightful place, okay? So if you could do it, do it. If not, just remove the screws and put them back in from scratch, okay, guys? All right, okay. Um, 
it's like you know you watch a mechanic <clears throat> they do something really easy then you try to repeat it <laughs> it's like wait yeah you know stick to the my uh old man used to say uh back to the basics Wayne. Right? stick to the basics <laughs> back to the basics all right here we go so now <clears throat> You could tell that one brought back some uh, <laughs> some memory, right? Some feelings. All positive, all positive. All right, let me. Uh, I just want to make sure I got all this side secured. All right, so this side secured. All right, so so let me let me put the first clamp back. Let me show you. <clears throat> you know, you can just snap this back in. Everything just pop, 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 snap, snap, snap. Right, but I wanted to show you what I meant with this. So let me do this first. Let's let's put this on, and I'm gonna. I might have to put the screws in there. Let me. You know, this is the one that gave me a tough time. So let me put a screw in here so I can. If I have to take that off, it can come off easy. All right, here we go. So everything into place. Like I said, if I put it on correctly, it should line up perfectly with this. Okay, and also when you put this back on, make sure you 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 put everything in here first. Okay, like this, and then snap it in, and voila, we're there. Everything is perfect. Yep, lined up perfectly. So to avoid this problem, guys, okay, what I think happened is person that was cleaning this out maybe some debris pushed too hard down did not realize this was a very delicate film right here very delicate stopper okay so be careful when you are trying to get lint out of here or if someone tells you to prime the pump or something like that and they tell you to push down in there because you can destroy this thing and that's what happened with this like nothing that the film that's right here is it's just it's busted all right and then the water's just oozing out okay so um that's that guys and uh and the other side snaps on just as easy i just got to put all the screws in but every you know look at that this the snap sh push down snap on so if you like another video about this topic guys just uh let me know just leave it in the comments and i'll be more than happy to uh give it a try and uh you know I, i'm not gonna be able to do all the videos that are recommended but man i'll tell you this you have a better shot at getting the answer you need if you just request it. Okay, guys? All right? So um, that's it. If I can help you with anything else, let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to share. Don't forget to visit my T-shirt uh, website, you know, my Teespring website where I have, uh, it's at gmartshirts.com. GM stands for gold mine. That's my art studio name. Gold My Art Studio, so GM Art Studio, GMArtStudio.com. Also, you can see some of my drawings there. All right, until later, bye.